One other question we commonly have come up is what is RPL? RPL is recognition of prior learning. Well, what does this mean? So RPL is a process whereby you assessed and can complete one or more units or an entire qualification based on your existing skills and knowledge. This means you don't need to study and that means you don't need to complete uh, the usual uh, training and assessment activities, but instead your existing skills and knowledge are assessed and if you meet the benchmark requirements as per the qualification, uh, then you can actually complete a unit or an entire qualification through an RPL process. The thing about RPL though is the onus is on you to demonstrate you are competent. So you need to provide a range of examples of evidence. Uh, it might be uh, examples of uh, job descriptions, it could include your CV, it could be examples of workplace documents such as risk assessments or a risk register for example. Uh, or it may be a range of uh, other related uh, items. It could be certificates of courses you've attended and so on and so forth. Quite often, you're also required to attend what's called an assessment interview. And in the assessment interview, the assessor will ask you a range of questions to establish that you possess the required uh, knowledge uh, in relation to the particular unit you're being assessed in. And they may also ask some clarifying questions in relation to the specific evidence you've, uh, you've provided. So for example, they might provide you, um, or you might provide a, a risk register as part of your portfolio of evidence. And the assessor will ask you probably some questions around, you know, uh, how you undertake risk assessments, what is risk, uh, what are different treatment approaches or, or mitigation measures you might be able to use, uh, and so on. But they'll also probably dig into the particular evidence. So they'll say, well, you've listed on here a high risk, why is that risk high? How did you come to that particular um, uh, understanding? How did you rate the risk as high? So they'll test not only your underpinning knowledge, but they'll also probe into the specific evidence that you provided in your portfolio. 